All right. Today uh, we are mainly going to be cooking uh, pasta. I'm going to talk pasta today. This is a pasta with lemon and courgette. And um, it's a Jamie Oliver recipe. And Jamie Oliver is big on uh, obviously Italian food and, and pasta and stuff. And so that's what we're going to do today. Um, pasta. Uh, pasta. So I wrote out some rules here for cooking pasta. So we'll just go through them. So you. Uh, you cook it al dente, so to the tooth or whatever it means, and so it's not too hard and it's not too soft. So when you bite, there's still a wee bit of bite to it. And um, boil the water first, and then add the pasta to it. You salt the water. You add oil to the water to stop it sticking, and you stir it to stop it sticking as well. Uh, buy the best quality pasta that you can afford. And um, we're dealing with dried pasta here. Um, I do make. Uh, you can see that I do make my fresh pasta, but I don't really tend to buy fresh pasta because I'm living on my own, so it's better to just have the dried stuff. Um, if the packet says that you cook it for nine minutes, for example, you should cook it for eight minutes, and then the last minute's worth of cooking will be done when you mix it with the sauce and when you um, uh, put it onto the plate and it's been served up, that'll be the last minute's worth of cooking. Uh, and then... The last thing is, oh yeah, so uh, like the, if it says cook for nine minutes, three minutes before you start tasting it and start biting it, so you know when it's just right. So those are your kind of rules that are you know really important when it comes to cooking pasta because you've got to get it exactly exactly cooked right. So what I'm going to do with these rules is I'm just going to pop all that. I didn't think I'd better pop all them into the bin because I'm just I'm not interested in any of that stuff when it comes to cooking pasta. As far as I'm concerned, pasta is just a starchy carbohydrate that's used to um, convey the flavour into my mouth. So I'm going to take I sometimes weigh it, but um, I'm not going to take too much. Eighty about eighty grams. Just about that. And I'm going to use this, just some jug of water I had. That's just some, just a bit of extra water that was coming out the tap. And I'm going to stick that on. Um, and that will be ready in whenever it's soft. I just, I don't care. Um, I'm interested in my pasta being uh, soft. Uh, no, don't, I don't want it al dente. I don't want it chewy. I don't want it getting stuck in my teeth. Um, it should be nice and soft. I, I, the way I like it anyway and this is going to cook in the same length of time it takes to cook this pasta so basically I'm going to boil this I'm not going to bother with salt there's enough salt and flavour in the sauce uh, I'm not going to bother with salt so just boil it up for however long it takes until it's soft um, so yeah just I was down at the fruit and veg shop today I was buying these wee packets of um, uh, uh, what do you call it herbs so this is coriander, but you get parsley and exactly the same thing. And you might get like, if you see this, you might get this wee kind of, that amount, this wee kind of handful like that, in that wee pack, 80 pence. I got this in the fruit and veg shop, parsley, one pound for all of this. Mental. So, uh, and I'll show you how to use that. I'll show you how to store it and use it all up. I'll show you a few recipes. Um, if you're doing things like, fish and parsley sauce, which we'll do one day, uh, you, know, you can put loads in it. And the way I use parsley as well, the way I'm going to use parsley in this, um, uh, you'll see I use a lot. So I've actually, I've just been to the shops, that's why these things are all out. So what we're interested in today is courgette. I'm going to bin that because it's a wee bit wet. Uh, you get to see me do some chopping today. Um, Another reason for doing these videos was um, a couple of people have said that they quite like watching me. Uh, they quite like watching me chopping. Uh, so we shall do some of that today. The camera is probably not picking it up, but my cat is a very. Um, it's a very heavy breather. It's very loud. 
Uh, what am I doing here? I want wee battens of puff cores yet, so let's uh, do that. Good size, good size chunks. In fact, that would probably be enough actually. But because I bought three of these, I'm going to need to just waken him up because his breathing is so annoying. I'll wash my hands. The flipping noise of his breathing is just annoying. I just had to stop him. It's quite stressful. Uh, A wee bit wet, I'll give it a wee rinse. I don't tend to normally bother washing vegetables, but um, quite dry. Uh, yeah, a wee bit more. Yeah, that's loads. I took the uh, motion stabilization off for this video, so uh, we'll see how this works. I don't know. I think I read a review. If you just leave it like that, it dries out. There's some water in the packet. There's some moisture in the packet that will just that will dry out a wee bit. Um, I read something about this camera that said if you've got the motion stabilization EIS on, you get like this size of screen. But then if you turn it off, it like widens out the field of view. So we'll turn it off and we'll see what happens. If it's annoying to watch, then I'll turn it back on again. Still experimenting with these things. Spring onions are a bit rubbish looking. Uh, this is all they had. Um, probably, this is from Tesco. Probably if I'd got them from the same shop as this, they would be better actually. But uh, yeah, these don't look very, these look a bit dry. Uh, I'm gonna chop most of this off. Just take that off. It. <laughs> Haven't turned the pan on yet, I'm just uh, putting this in. Don't normally put spring onion in it. But it should be nice. Whenever you, if you ever get uh, to the fruit and veg shop or uh, in the supermarkets, always keep these wee plastic bags. I, I'll, I'll keep these. I'm going to use that for the parsley, and it's good because what you want to do is to, to store all your vegetables. If you wrap them up, and these bags are good because they don't have any holes in them. You want to wrap them nice and tight, and that'll last. That'll help it last a long time in the uh, last a long time in the fridge. Uh, put a wee bit of chilli actually. So maybe put a wee bit of chilli on it as well. Uh, yeah, why not? squeeze out the juice of the lemon. As this pasta is starting to boil, we'll just turn it down to four and uh, it goes up to six. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, just turn it down. Just leave the lid off, otherwise it just keeps boiling over and boiling over. You can give it a wee stir to help it, to stop it sticking to the bottom and stuff, but um, Yeah, this is a Jamie Oliver recipe and it's very good and it's a good way to eat quite a lot of courgettes you know that's a fair amount of courgettes into just one portion um, and there's you get three courgettes for a pound out of Tesco so or a pound ten or something like that and I will show you how to use them up in the next recipe I 
I reckon that just this is one portion, so half a lemon should be good. Wonder if someday somebody will invent a seedless lemon. This is a right hassle. Even the lemon seeds. Peas. So this would be um, a handful of peas in there. And all you're basically going to do is just stew this down with some olive oil. We'll start that cooking just now. I think. Yeah. Start it cooking slowly just now. I'm just going to put a wee bit of vegetable oil in it, just a touch, because I'm going to mix it basically. Because I'm going to use my, I've got extra, I've only got extra virgin um, olive oil. Um, even though I'm going to cook it, you tend to not really want to cook with this, but um, because uh, it's quite expensive. But you can by cu by cutting it a bit with the uh, that's vegetable oil. Um, with cutting it a bit with the vegetable oil, you sort of make it a bit less extra virgin, make it just virgin. Uh, so that's the lemon juice there. It goes in right at the end. There's a load of sugar in lemon. So you don't want to put it in too early, otherwise it'll kind of burn. Otherwise it'll burn. And what I'm going to do here with this, with this uh, parsley, is I'm just going to roughly chop. What I wanted to show in these videos as well is sort of the quantity of herbs that I use, because you might get, you see recipes, and it'll say, you know. You put this much pasta or uh, this much parsley on at the end, whereas I'm going to use a good handful, and you know it's a good way to get through this. Uh, we touch more actually. Same with this. Um, these stalks are quite long actually. I'm probably not going to use. I'm probably not going to use all these stalks. So just to make life a wee bit easier, I'm only going to discard these actually. They're a wee bit dry on the end and they're quite thick. I'm not going to use them just to make it fit into the bag a bit better. So put that into the bag like that and same again. Squeeze it to get the air out of it. And that's it. And that'll last, that'll last days um, on the bottom of the fridge like that. Just crush it in. And you can see obviously as well, I'm tidying up as I go along. But you know, I use a lot of parsley and, and coriander and things like that in quite large quantities. You know, it's not just a wee sprig or a wee pinch, it's it's um it's a handful. Um just gonna maybe crank that up now actually because that's gonna be ready soon. Uh, so there's nothing to this, all we're doing is we're just chucking everything in a pan with olive oil. See the colour of that, see the colour of that that you can see I think is a bright kind of purpley pink colour, um, which is pretty cool, but it's actually red, it's just normal, what I'm seeing is just red, but I think what you see in the camera is like purpley pink, I don't wonder what the reason for that is, um, maybe somebody could mention it. Now I didn't bother, um, I didn't bother washing this pa parsley probably should but the thing is, is if you did wash it you really should dry it you've got to make sure you dry it before you um, before you put it away otherwise all the water sticking to it will, will make it it will make it not last as long it'll kind of rot down yeah, a lot quicker so if you did wash it you kind of want to put it in a spinner a salad spinner thing um, but that's too much hassle I do have a couple of salad spinners but um, I don't know where they are must be buried in the back of the cupboard somewhere. And as usual, we're getting as much um, happening at the same time, all, all at the same time. Same again, red, uh, rubber. These wee silicon things are really good.
we we'll just want it on just a kind of a medium heat just to kind of stew it down. A bit of salt. Pepper. So all you've got in there is courgettes, peas, spring onions, olive oil and a wee touch vegetable oil because it's extra virgin olive oil and then all I'm going to do is once this pasta is cooked um, maybe we've got a wee touch of water in it as well uh, we'll see, we'll see how we get on so I'm going to turn that down a wee bit more and if you have the pasta, quite, uh, if you have the uh, courgette quite big like that um, you kind of get a flake, you get a bit more taste to it in a wash. I'm just uh, practicing tossing with my left hand because it's, you know, it's like somebody else is doing it but uh, tossing with the right hand is easy enough. Even though you you've taken off the heat, it, it removes the heat from it. I like to sort of keep it clean as I go. It's got a fair amount of oil in it, um, but it's all it is olive oil, so it's good. So that'll be good flavour. Mixed with the lemon, it'll create a nice wee kind of emulsion and a sauce. That will not so much a sauce, but just a kind of nice wee coating for the uh, for the pasta. Uh, so that's why I kind of went quite high and quite heavy, so that's, that's why there's quite a lot of oil in it um, and also the courgette soaks in a lot of the oil so but it's good olive oil so it should be alright that just all you're doing is just stewing this down, there's just nothing to it this is the thing you know like this is what I kind of want to show that you know that um, Cooking, uh, a lot of people are kind of intimidated by cooking vegetables and they wouldn't know what to do with them and we wouldn't know what to do with three courgettes, you know, it's like, well, why would I want three when this is, you know, three quarters of one? Um, but if you can knock up dishes like this, um, these are good ways to use up lots of vegetables. And what I'm going to do next, in the next video, I think, maybe, is ratatouille. And that's really, really good. Really nice, rich vegetable, and it's just all vegetables. And it's just, it's a really good way of using up lots of vegetables. Because there's no point of buying vegetables and then just binning them, because there's, you don't know what to do with them. Nice and soft, you see? Nice and floppy and soft. We're in no hurry with that at all. This is about done now. good thing with these, uh, I'd call that a spoonula, but uh, the good thing with these is that you can really clean, it cleans the bowl out if you're scraping something out, really cleans it, cleans the pan out, and um, you don't waste anything. So there you go, that's lemon juice and olive oil. So I, I always cook in my socks, I can clean the floor, and that's creating a nice little dressing there. You can see the oil and the, the lemon together. You don't want to cook that away too much. I'm going to turn that off now. And that's done. It's the good thing about the cleaver, you know what I mean? It's so good for picking stuff up. Like that. I'm going to take that off the heat now. I don't want it to bring all the sauce to disappear. And like, you know, with the pasta, I just kind of you know, I'm in no hurry with that at all. Just don't care. Let me mix 
so call that done I'm not even going to check it just I'm sure I'll be fine uh, you could use a colander but um, it's just another thing to clean up so might be a wee bit of water on it but that's okay Dump that in. and that's done so that's you there a nice wee quick bowl of um, pasta with lemon and courgette and peas a wee bit of chilli through it lots of parsley and you can see that I haven't cooked the parsley out so you can I can actually smell that parsley now um, so you're kind of having parsley in there as a almost like a vegetable on its own kind of thing as a herb but you know um, it's it's its own it's a flavour in its own right in there actually do you know what's really good uh, pine nuts let's toast them up that's my fastest toasting pan handful of toasted pine nuts blinking expensive these things What's that? doesn't look very good does it oh, 10 pence I just threw in the bin there I'll we'll just pop these on the top so to be very careful with the pine nuts uh, they'll just they'll burn in a second noise you can hear is my hot water pump it's a bit loud got an immersion uh, an immersion heater a pump and I'm going to change it it's one of my next jobs to do in this flat is to change the um, need to change my hot water tank and I'll be changing that noisy uh, pump as well so I'm just going to toast these to get a wee bit of flavour on a wee bit of a colour on them turn that off so that's it that's it that's all we're doing today just a simple wee bit of bowl of pasta for lunch uh, pasta, lemon courgette, peas, parsley, chilli, olive oil um, and a few pine nuts on top see a nice wee bit of colour on there you can see that and then what I'll do as well is because that pasta is quite hot I'm just going to have a quick clear up as well Just to kind of demonstrate how easy it is to cook up a plate of dinner and finish up with a clean kitchen at the end. There you go. So that is done and I shall um there you go, a bowl of food and a clean kitchen. So I shall talk to you next time. I could probably have used the uh, the juice from the whole lemon. That's my only refinement to that. So don't skimp on the lemon juice.